Hey guys, um, I'm back to read uh, to read my uh, story that I wrote, the Friendship Troopers uh, Part Two. Um, sorry, it took me a long time to uh, read it. it. I had like uh, so much to do. Uh, I had so much to do, and uh, plus my dad was always home, and he's very noisy, so. I wanted to record my voice without any uh any uh lot of noises and stuff. So, um all right, where I left off. Oh yeah, I left off at chapter six. Alright. Um <clears throat> here we go. Chapter six. Princess Cel Princess Celestia started to speak. Ladies and gentle ponies. We're here. We are here today for the formation of the Friendship Troopers. Now, we. Now, here we go. Nixon, you and your group will be called the Apple Battalion because of your strength and your hard work. Jack, you and your group will be called the Weary Battalion for your foraging expertise. Mike, you and your group will be called the Pinky Battalion for your super endogenetic skills. Saber, you and your group will be called the Rainbow Battalion for your speed and your combat skills. Keys, you and your group will be called the Flurry Battalion <clears throat> for... Uh, Fighting, for your fighting skills and your communication skills with wildlife. In Leston, you and your group will be called the Sparkle Battalion for your magic, magic skills, battle skills, and tactics. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentle ponies, behold the six commanders and their six battalions. So, um, <clears throat> the, all the ponies applause to the to um to the formation of the friendship troopers after that the six the six commanders walked into twilight's castle for their uh for um their uh, mi for their missions when they were in the throne room talking Kiala and the Crystal Empire are still under attack. Mike, you and Keys, you, you, Mike, Keys, and you and your battalions will go to the can. Will go to Camelot since. Um. To uh, fight off the. To fight off the enemy jackals and the enemy jackals in the air. Um, Saber, you go with them as well, for extra for extra support. And since the Crystal Empire is still under attack, and since the Crystal Empire is very, very, very big as well, Leston. You, Nixon, and Jack, your battalions and your battalions will accompany me to the Crystal Empire, said Twilight. But there was a problem. But there was like a little problem. There was no way for the three battalions to get... There was no way for the three battalions to get... On to the uh, to get to the Crystal Empire because the train of the train of Equestria can only hold so much troops. In the old times, in the old times, uh, humans on in the old times on Earth, humans rode horses, but in Equestria, the ponies are too small for the troops to ride. 
So Lustin had the cr most craziest plan ever. His plan was to go to the Everfree Free Forest to hunt for some rides. And where are they hunting, you ask? It was Manticores, of course. Uh, I, yeah, <laughs> that is the craziest idea, hunting down Manticores to ride. Uh, <laughs> well, good luck. Um, so the three battalions hunted them, and each troop jumped on each Manticore and tried to stay on their backs until they stopped bucking. So when each troop tamed their uh, manticores, they rode them into Ponyville until Princess Twilight was ready. Um, when Princess Twilight came out of her castle, she was a little bit shocked seeing uh, manticores in Ponyville and all. Um, because, um, because, uh, Manticores uh, were uh, dangerous to ponies, but since the troops tamed them, they're not really a danger to any of them, not even to the riders, which is good. And uh, less than explained to Twilight that they're not going to be a problem to her, so she doesn't have to worry. She calm she calmed down, and then her and her uh, friends went to the train to get to the Crystal Empire. But before she went on the train, Leston asked Twilight, do you want me to send you two troopers with you? But then Twilight answered, no, it's fine, Leston. Leston nodded, so, so, um, not, uh, Leston nodded, <clears throat> so, when the main six left on the train, Leston and Nixon and Jack said their command, their orders. All right, all right, everybody, let's ride. And then, um, before they rode, uh, the ponies started cheering, cheering and yelling their names. And some and the, and also the ponies told them to be careful. The troopers smiled and waved, and then they left Ponyville. Um, when they were going, when they were, uh, um. When they uh, gone to the Crystal Empire, it only took them three hours. The Manticores are very, very fast. So, so that's probably the reason why the, the ponies are a little bit scared of the Manticores. <laughs> I know, I would have. Right. When Twilight and her friends arrived to the Crystal Empire, wait, hold on, sorry. Chapter 7. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so as I was saying, when Twilight and her friends arrived to the Crystal Empire, they were greeted by Princess Lustia in shiny armor. Hi, Twilight. How is your travel in this situation? Princess Cadence asked. It was all right, Twilight answered. Then shortly after Twilight's arrival, the troops arrived. After that, the three battalions began to work on the defenses. Jack ordered the rear of the battalion to forge some barriers, barriers, blasters, uh, blaster cannons, and an easy escape route for in, in case if all else fail protecting the empire, they could uh, evacuate the ponies and take them to safety, safety and, um, and quickly. Then Nixon ordered his, then Nixon ordered the Apple Battalion to get their weapons ready for the battle. 
so they did. Um, they were uh, they they started getting their like rocket launchers and other stuff. <laughs> um, and Leston ordered the Spark Battalion to get. Lesson ordered the Spark Battalion to get every pony next to the escape route so if all else failed, they could hurry during the evacuation. He also ordered his men to get on a balcony so that way they could snipe and, and the others and he told the others to be, to be the last line of the defense so that way the princesses and the main six uh, can't escape. Um, and what they say, what they meant by by the last um, last of the defense, so that way they could keep the jackals busy while while they escape. So everybody and pony were getting ready for the jackal for the jackals to attack. Leston was talking to Twilight. Everything is in <clears throat> everything is in order, and the Rainbow Battalion and the Flutter Battalion will be coming here shortly," said Leston. "Very good. So we will also have the Air Force then," said Twilight. "Well, sign with for relief." Then Leston said, "Indeed, Twilight." Um, saber and keys came to the Crystal Empire with the rest of the Air Force. Saber, keys, welcome to the Crystal Empire, said Princess Cadence. Thank you for the warm welcome, Your Highness, Saber said while bowing, while bowing his head. Lesson walked towards Saber and Keys and stick his hand out for a handshake. It's nice to see you, gent. It's nice to see you, gentlemen. Lesson said. It's nice to see you too, my friend. Answered Keys. Chapter eight. When Twilight and Lesson was talking, the siren went off. <laughs> Lesson said, Twilight, stay inside. Twilight nodded her head and kissed, he, kissed him on his cheek. This is good. This is for good luck, Lesson. Lesson nodded and smiled. Thank you, said Lesson while kissing Twilight back. Lesson put his helmet on and ran outside with his men. <laughs> Then um, the Rarity Battalion engaged, bla engaged and started blasting the incoming jackals with their, uh, with their, um, with their blaster cannons. <laughs> Make sure no ugly gets past us! Blast all of these freaking uglies back to hell where they came from! Then, uh, the Apple Battalion... Then the, um... Uh, then the, uh, Apple Battalion had engaged as well, and they started firing their weapons at the... at the incoming Jagos that's going past the cannons. And then uh, the Sparkle Battalion are uh, putting the crystal ponies behind them, so that way the ponies will be safe. Psh. 
So the battle had pressed on. The battle has pressed on, and uh, the um, the Rainbow Battalion and the uh, Flutter Battalion started to go in the air and started attacking the Jagos from from above by shooting them with their blasters and um, attacking them with their uh, swords. Um, the they um, they were like a big help, and they um, blast they blasted all the Jagos. Um, they blasted all the jackals away. Um, then, then, until uh, the last jackal remained, and uh, they uh, retreated. After the after the battle, the the jackals fled outside of all Equestria. So. Which means they won't be a problem anymore. They won't be a problem to the ponies anymore. The French troopers were cheering and, and dancing to their victory. But, um, so, um, after the war is over, the troopers continue to help, to help and protect the the ponies from high threats, and the six commanders had um, had um, had went to the gala for the first time because Princess Celestia wanted to honor them because of their bravery. <laughs> so that's what they did. Um, then um, after that. Blestin had a courage to ask Twilight to dance, and she said yes, finally. <laughs> um, after a while, they became an item, so that was good. Um, so, um, ever, since, uh, ever since the war, all the ponies decided to, uh, to call the troopers they're uh, human. They're human brothers in arms. And Leston also wrote Princess Lucia in le a letter. Of course, a letter. Dear Princess Lucia, uh, dear Princess Lucia. So, um, Leston had. Um, wrote Princess Celestia a letter. Dear Princess Celestia, I just want I wrote this letter just to thank you for for letting us to for letting for allowing us coming in your world and helping you out. And it also mean a lot and it also mean meant a lot that you invited us to the Great Gallon and Gala for our uh, for our bravery. And also honoring our our, our bros, our brothers that had fallen. We, we are grateful that we um, met all of you as well. <laughs> and um, and um, since you know the um, this world. You, you, this world is like with uh, friendship and stuff. I also learned that f with friendship, uh, with friendship, with with friendship, we um, we uh, we uh, prevailed. So which means, so which means we um, with friendship we. Uh, we uh, win the war because we stand together as a unit. And and thanks for also um, and also thanks for uh, accepting us as as well. Well. 
I'll write to you later. Sincerely, Leston. The end. Well, that was my, that was the part two. Um, I hope you all like it. Um, um, this is Larry, and I'm out. See you later.